Pulse Chain will no longer be launched this month. In today's video, we're going to share with you some updates related to Pulse Chain, Hex, and one of the biggest upcoming projects, Moves. So watch this video all the way through to the end so you don't miss out on anything. Hi Cryptopreneurs, what is your favorite crypto? Let us know in the comments. If you like making crazy money with crypto, this is the place for you. Here we explore new gems and explain the best new tiny undervalued cryptos with 100x or even 1000x potential. You will also find all the news of the crypto space every day. So make sure to subscribe and activate notifications for all all the upcoming videos. Follow us on our social channels and join as members for added perks. Now, without further ado, let's get straight to the point. On May 22nd, Richard Hart posted that Pulse Chain will not launch this month. It doesn't look like that's gonna happen. He will continue his outrage marketing and the metrics look very good so far. He also tweeted, by the way, that some people like the idea of launching at the bottom of a bear market. So for those people, they'll probably love the delays. Unfortunately, this news didn't go over very well with many people who sold their hex like crazy to get ready for the launch. This isn't something new with cryptocurrency. These new speculative cryptocurrencies, or altcoins, are very risky and high paying. And by the way, there is a Twitter account called Hex Whalebot, which has decided to track whale sales. He showed in one of his tweets how many of these whales are selling their hex. And in these tweets, you can see that there is one whale that sold almost $7 million worth of hex. And that's not the only whale that did this. In fact, several other whales did the same thing to secure their assets, which significantly affected the price of HEX. And the current price of HEX at the time of this recording is $0.07, which is absolutely insane. Literally down by over 85% right now. And deep in the red on CoinGecko and many other platforms. So HEX is down 85% from its all-time high of 0.51 bucks. It's not a pretty sight. And it's almost the same thing happening on many other crypto. Bitcoin is back to 28,900, but in our opinion, we could have a rally to around $40,000. Some of the altcoins are going to rally, and from there, we could go even lower, down to nineteen dollars or $20,000. Of course, as we just said, this is just our opinion. Many of you may not agree with it, which is why you need to do more research. However, we should expect a short-term rebound that could potentially bring us back up. Indeed, right now, with Pulse Chain lagging, the collapse of the hex price and the collapse of all the other altcoins could well be an excellent opportunity for anyone to add their crypto numbers. Of course, not all of these cryptos will succeed, but one thing is for sure, some of them will succeed and will cover the losses caused by other altcoins. So this drop in the market may be a good opportunity. Now, of course, nobody knows where the bottom is, but if we look at our own daily hex stats, we haven't been this low in a long, long time. And what still seems crazy about hex is that everyone who bought those chips early on when it was launched are still in profit. Imagine if you bought it at $0.004, and since we're currently at $0.07, that's still 20 times higher. What we're trying to say here is that it's always a good thing to buy a token at its lowest price. Now, we also have to share an update on Move Z, a very large project that will be launched soon. But before we tell you about that, if you like what we do, let us know by leaving a like and sharing this video. Let's keep going. We've already made several videos on Move Z, and it looks like the launch has also been delayed. They delayed it until early June due to market conditions and sentiment. But the pre-sales sold out very quickly, and this cryptocurrency has huge potential. This will be the first deflationary move to earn. Powered by Bluezilla, MoveZ seeks to solve some of the problems encountered by previous iterations with a unique set of features. First off, Boost Zones let you participate in local social fitness events and earn boosted rewards. There are also organizational accounts, which allow workplaces, groups, and communities to set up their own sub-accounts and share access to NFTs. Plus, there's NFT lending and revenue sharing. Furthermore, the burn to earn concept lets you earn rewards for doing exercise. And since the system is deflationary, there will be upward pressure on price by the limiting of supply on the token. The app also offers both competitive and relaxed options. If you're the competitive type, you can use the local and global leaderboards to see how you stack up against other users. And if you just want to take it easy, you can still earn rewards by engaging in all types of physical activities, including jogging, running, swimming, and cycling, representing a massive improvement on the big player solutions. 
Plus, there are anti-cheat mechanisms in place to ensure that only genuine activity is rewarded. MoveZ has blown up on social in the past few weeks, with over 150,000 combined followers on its Twitter and Telegram accounts. In the coming months, we can expect to see many non-crypto partners integrate with the app. If you're looking for a platform that pays you to get fit, MoveZ is definitely worth checking out. However, as we mentioned in our previous videos, the IDO has already passed, so you have to wait for the launch in early June, as they announced on Twitter. On MoveZ, all forms of exercise can be rewarded, giving the platform a massive advantage over established platforms that provide limited forms of exercise for users. That could be swimming, cycling, jogging, running, being at the gym, or even more. With its unique set of features and strong lineup of partners, MoveZ has a lot of potential. And with a market cap of just $55,000, it has a lot of room to grow. With a market cap of just $55,000, MoveZ has a lot of room for potential growth. This is especially true when you consider that Bluezilla has launched one-third of the best-performing IDOs of all time, indicating that MoveZ also has a lot of potential. We are looking forward to the launch of MoveZ. We will keep you informed as soon as we know the exact launch date. There will be more updates very soon, but for Hex, PulseX, and PulseChain, we will have to wait even longer. And you should know that the whole game of cryptocurrency is to buy the red and sell it when it's in the green. I, I don't know how I mean how people have such certainty, but when Pulse is launching every week with the stuff they put out if, there, if I, if I <laughs> every day, I tell it's them, happening this right. day. <laughs> I tell them my dev's best guess is like yeah. in two weeks, and then their best guess was wrong. And then we do an audit and we find stuff that needs fixed. And it's like, yeah, guys, guesses aren't right. Like, I, I, yeah, I'm not looking great. for you to like blow smoke here. I'm looking for like, is, is there a, an actual shoot or a production that was fun for you? That you like, you look back on this. And I, you think, go, I think I think I really enjoyed. I think, I mean, it may be recency bias, but I think that in Marbella, the, uh, or outside Marbella, it was technically Marbella still. I think so, yeah. Yeah. Well, in Marbella, when we were doing those car racing behind the truck with the crane on the back, yeah, I thought that was Russian. fabulous. Oh. I mean, when, when you could pull stills from the from the video and it looks like a perfectly framed picture, you're like, yeah, man, yeah. And I even got yeah. great, like, there's, like, this iconic uh, James Bond, like, leaning back on the car in the mountains, like, thing. And I wanted that. I was like, man, oh. we, I would love to try and get that. And I got something close, <laughs> you know? And yeah. I was like, man, I got – so I came away with that. Um very happy. I think I think that'll make some great scenes in the movie. Oh, and that was that was definitely one of my highlights being yeah. in the Ferrari and you had your Danish friends in there yeah. and you know, you just hit it. And and the scene is Richard's driving behind Brent and the McLaren and then on go, he's gotta hit it and we're already doing, I don't know, eighty, hundred miles yeah. an hour. He's yeah. gotta hit it, fly around Brent. It's right? tight. And now it's we've not got a lot the, of space. We've got the road closed down. Yeah. This is all super safe of you know, unless Richard flies off the road. But um, he did get super on two safe. tires at one point, I think. Super and safe. And so he flies around yeah. Right, but then we run out of road because yeah. where we're shut down, so he slams the brakes on. I don't think the ladies were quite ready, and but oh man, was it like the best amusement ride they'd have ever had? They were loving life, like being in the yeah. car with the BTS and just like seeing all yeah. of that. It was just yeah. wild, you know. Yeah. So those kinds of things where you're you're pushing limits, you're getting yeah. visuals that are top notch that that compete with Mission Impossible. Like if, like you, if you, you know? see them like trying to sell a car, this footage is as good or better than a lot of the manufacturer trying to sell the car footage is that good. Like you, you couldn't make it better. Um, so I was, I was super excited. You about heard that. it here first. Mr. Yeah. Richard Hart loves yeah. our production value. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. It's really good. It's really, really good. So, you know, I hope, I hope that you make a, a sequel. We'll see. We hope we were able to provide some value and helped you to move a step ahead in your crypto journey. Be sure to check out our crypto brand called Cryptopreneur. Get yourself the highest quality crypto merch available right now on the market and make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of our content. Till next time, goodbye.